everyone and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Live at 6 o'clock Eastern Time, 5.58 to be very exact. My name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh. Today I'm going to review Adobe. Why? Because it's very interesting. Can we learn something from this today? The answer is yes. Did I learn something from this today? The answer is yes. Do I learn something every day in the market? No. No, I don't because I know a lot. I've been trading for seven years, but the answer to this of the learning of this is what I'm gonna go with you right now. First of all, my charts look kind of weird because of the fact that I actually just recently had an update. The good news is that my trading charts are fixed. The bad news is that it's gonna take me like an hour to fill everything out the way that I want it, <laughs> frankly. Um, so let's go over it. And again, I don't really need anything other than what I have here, but I want to show you something that Adobe did today. It actually gapped down. It was not a quality gap to short, so I didn't short it, but it opened and swooshed. But considering the fact that it was a gap down, it actually was a reverse swoosh. And what I learned today for myself and for anyone that ever trades with me or does trade with me, wait, let me get rid of this pre-market. Um, let's go back to the beginning of the day. So I saw that this gap down and reverse swooshed, but it actually swooshed. And then I was thinking about it. I decided to do the trade. I decided to go long Adobe very, very late. It stopped out. Do I think the stock's higher? The answer is yes. Did I take a stop in Adobe today though? Yes, the answer is yes. But it was a worthwhile trade because the target on Adobe really is $90. It didn't get there today, but that is the swing trade target in Adobe. It's a quality, quality long. Why? Because buying came into the market today. The stock gap down, failed in the gap down, and open and reverse swooshed. So you couldn't have shorted it. I bought it. The lesson that I learned today from Adobe is what? There is actually a difference between a reverse swoosh and a swoosh. And when I looked at Adobe to go long, I was thinking swoosh, but the fact was it was a reverse swoosh. And, and the thing that I really got out of today, and I took a loss in Adobe today, one loss, but I'll tell you it was worth it. It was one risk unit, and again, that's why I use stops because this really then came in, but this still is a long, the overall chart is a long. But I'll tell you, this is worth it today to take the stop, and I'll tell you why. I never really thought about this before today, but there is a big, big difference between a swoosh, a stock swoosh, which is something that I invented and I teach in the Golden Gap class, and, the, and a reverse swoosh. And what I realized today, and this is this is all happening for a reason, because I'm going to start to be looking at bullish stocks because of the fact I'm going to be on national television. Did I tell you that I actually have a folder, a file folder now? I, it's a it's a real folder. I had to make the folder. I have a folder in my email. In my email, with a it's an it's a network. It, I had to make a folder. I have so many emails from the network that I made a folder. It's that exciting. Anyways, to make a long story short, the lesson to be learned from Adobe today is that a reverse swoosh is something 100% real and is completely different from a stock swoosh. So you couldn't you couldn't look at this today as a bullish swoosh. And I kind of like did then and then took the long, but the fact was it didn't gap up and swoosh up. It gapped down and reverse swooshed. And therefore, I really realized that actually, even if something reverse swooshes, you can't take the trade in the direction of the reverse swoosh. Why did I even do this today? Because I had nothing else to trade. And I really saw the swoosh into the open, but I saw the reverse swoosh, but it, it, it swooshed. But the problem was that it was a gap down. So what's the lesson to be learned today? The really, really important lesson to be learned today, which I'm telling everyone right now, besides the fact that I'm never having an open house again, by the way, <laughs> is, and you only get that if you were in the trading room today, but I will tell you right now, 
that there is nothing more important in the chart than the strategy. And the strategy in Adobe today was the, the gap down. It did not rate 20 points or more. Therefore, you didn't short it. What I originally said today in the open, before the open, was that there was no play in Adobe, and the fact was it right, was right. You couldn't have gone long this and made money. You couldn't have gone short this and made money. There was no play in Adobe today. The initial read I gave in the pre-market on Adobe was correct based on what? The strategy and the goal and got 26 point rating system. The lesson that I, me, Melissa Armo and the stock switch can learn from this today is the next time that something does something like this, Adobe, anything, anything else, even in the opposite direction, is that the strategy is the most important thing, which I've always known. But even the swoosh doesn't take precedence over the strategy on the strategy today that happened in Adobe, no matter what it did in the live day, was that the stock gapped down. Now, it didn't gap down and rate well to short, so I didn't short it, but it did gap down, and therefore, you can't go long a gap down, which I've always known, even if a reverse swoosh is, because a reverse swoosh is different from a stock swoosh. And at the end of the day, you must have a strategy and pack to trade a stock. So I actually learned something today from trading. It's not something that I do every day because I know so much now, trading for seven years. But today was worthwhile. Despite the fact I took the loss in Adobe, it was worth it. Why? Because the next time I see something like this, I'll learn from the experience. Have a fantastic night, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. If you are interested in signing up for the Golden Gap class, the deadline to sign up at the current price of $34.99 is September 30th. That's it. Boom. The class price is going up October 1st. And that's the end of the story. Have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissa.thesockswish.com if you'd like more information.